book cover mother bruce by ryan t higgins the book title at the bottom of the cover reads mother goose the word goose is crossed out and bruce is written above it the top right of the cover bears an emblem naming the book an ezra jack keats honor book a black bear with four goslings sitting on his head the bear looks disgruntled he frowns slightly mother bruce written by ryan t higgins A black bear sitting on the ground paws in front of him on an otherwise white page. He frowns. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. The page is split into two sections. On the left, a black bear, Bruce, stands looking up at the sun. He wears sunglasses and has his right paw up to shade his face. He is frowning. On the right, Bruce stands under an umbrella in the rain. He frowns. He did not like sunny days. He did not like rain. Bruce leers down at a small rabbit smiling up at him. He did not like cute little animals. Bruce in a tree his head in a hollow so only his body is shown standing on a limb. Behind him, a bucket full of eggs hangs off the branch. A speech bubble from Bruce says, Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. Feathers are flying out of the hollow around Bruce's body. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Bruce at a computer. Around his head are pictures of the foods he is researching and imagining making, including egg on toast, deviled eggs, a hard-boiled egg with hot sauce and an olive, a quiche, and a fried egg sunny side up. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. Page is split. On the left, Bruce at a computer, face close to the screen, tongue stuck out in concentration. A thought bubble above his head contains bees, a salmon, and an egg with a yellow sauce on it. On the right, Bruce walks through the forest pushing a grocery cart. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce, so he went out to get the ingredients. Page is split into three panels, left to right to show progression of a sequence. On the left, Bruce with his cart in swirling water. The cart has several fish in it. The middle panel shows a beehive broken in half, honey leaking out, hanging off a branch. A large group of bees swarms around the hive. On the right, Bruce holds a goose by the neck. The goose looks alarmed. Mouth open in a silent scream, wings back. Bruce holds four eggs in the crook of his right arm. A speech bubble from him says, Are these eggs free-range organic? First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local business, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. Bruce has on a red and white checkered apron and a chef's hat. He stands holding a metal basket of eggs ready to place them in a pot on a black metal cook stove by an open window. At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. Top left. Bruce leans down to look in the stove. His head is obscured by a great plume of black smoke. 
The eggs are still in the pot on top of the stove. Bottom right. Bruce, still in a chef's hat and apron, walks while he carries several logs. But the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. Left page. The stove with the pot. In the pot, four goslings smiling hatched from the eggs. A speech bubble from all four of them says, Mama! Right page. Bruce seen from behind, in alarm, arms up in the air, mouth open. The logs he carried are flying through the air. His hat has flown off. Mama! Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. Close up of Bruce's face, up close to the goslings in the pot. He frowns, eyebrows down low. The goslings all look at him curiously. Bruce wanted hard-boiled eggs, not goslings. Bruce, sitting at a table with a green and white checkered napkin around his neck. He looks grumpy. On the table, a plate with a pile of toast, on top of which is a gosling with butter on its head. The other goslings are on the table. One peers over the table's edge, one sits on the butter, and the other looks up at Bruce. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason he lost his appetite. Left. Bruce, pushing a cart in the forest with the four goslings inside. A speech bubble from Bruce reads, I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy. Right. Nest with a note that reads, Be back in April, Mother Goose. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest, only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. A forest scene by a lake. On the left, the goslings in the nest watch curiously as Bruce walks away with his cart. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. A closer view of the nest by the lake. The goslings walk out of the nest in a line. Two of them have speech bubbles reading, Mama? But he was followed. Three pictures of Bruce speaking grouchily to the goslings. In the first picture, he stands pointing away. In the second, he is bent over, frowning. In the third, he stands, hands on his hips, looking down at the goslings. Bruce was very stern and said things like, Go away! And, I'm not your mother! And also, I liked you better when you were eggs! Outside in a forest setting next to a tree, Bruce stands, his fists clenched by his sides, eyes closed. A speech bubble says, ROAR, next to his open mouth. The four goslings look curiously at him, seemingly unfazed. Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. ROAR! Right side. Bruce is on a high branch on the left side of a tree. His arms are crossed and he looks to the right. On a slightly higher right-hand branch are the four goslings. The one furthest away has a speech bubble. Mama? Bottom left. Bruce runs away, the goslings pursuing right behind him. One has a speech bubble. Mama? It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Bruce walks, shoulders and head down in defeat, walking with goslings following him. One looks up at him. The other three mimic his walking, left leg up in the air. Bruce lays on the ground, arms by his sides. The four goslings sit and stand on his stomach. Bruce was stuck with them. In the forest, a field leading to more trees in the background. In the foreground, a small swimming pool. 
The four goslings swim and splash, smiling. Bruce stands to the left of the pool wearing flippers on his feet, an inner tube around his middle, and floaties on his arms. He looks down at the goslings in the pool, slightly frowning. He tried to make the best of it. Bottom of the page. Bruce, splattered in green paint, sits next to a painting of a fish and holds a paintbrush. He looks, frowning at the goslings who are splattering paint of all different colors across the space they are in. Two are laughing while the other two explore and look at Bruce. Top right. Bruce wears a baby carrier with all four goslings in their own slot. The goslings look happy. Bruce frowns, his hands on his hips. It was hard work. Top. Bruce, in a chef's hat and checkered apron, stares at the four goslings in high chairs with quiches on their trays. The goslings are avoiding the food and speech bubbles above their heads state, Blech! Ew! Yuck! Bottom. Bruce and the four goslings sleep snoring on a long log. Top. Four baby goslings. One lays on the ground. One stands looking at the ground. One flaps its wings and the last one walks away. The title, Annoying Baby Geese, with an arrow, points to them. Middle, Teenage Geese. Two listen to music through headphones. The others stand. They all look pouty. The label, Stubborn Teenage Geese, points to them. Four adult geese looking clueless, wide-eyed, looking out of the page. The label, Boring Adult Geese, points at them. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. Outside a grassy hill, a blue sky with silhouettes of birds flying away. Bruce looks up at the birds. The now grown geese stand close behind Bruce. Two look straight up, and two look in front of them. Then, one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese, and he could take a long winter nap. A grassy area in front of a forest. The visible trees are bare. Bruce stands on the grass and flaps his arms. The geese stare at him blankly. Bruce explained migration. Bruce, in front of the barren trees, looks down at the geese, looking uncertain. The geese all have hats, scarves, hats, and boots on. They stare blankly at Bruce. But they didn't listen. On the edge of a hill, sky to the left. On the right, Bruce has a slingshot set up between two small trees, one goose pulled back. All the geese are dressed in red scarves, goggles, and leather helmets, like pilots. Two of the geese stand arms open as if preparing for flight. The fourth stands staring to the right. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. Top. Bruce holds a remote control and looks down at it. The geese are in helmets and flying goggles. Each is in a red and white plane being controlled by the remote flown away from Bruce. Bottom. Bruce has dropped the remote and is running away, hands over his head as the geese in the planes pursue him. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. Bruce stands, a grumpy look on his face, arms pinned to his sides as all the geese hug him. The word, sigh appears next to them. The front of a green bus pulling into the left side of the page. The words express on a golden label at the top. Next to the doors, labels with a series of letters and numbers. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. Bruce and the four geese sit, hands clasped, waiting for the bus. Their packs, red and green backpacks, sit on the ground. Bruce looks nervous. They boarded a bus. A full page spread beach scene. Palm trees in the background. 
see to the right with a sailboat in the distance. Bruce and the geese, all dressed in flowery button-up shirts, lounge on the sand. Bruce sleeps snoring in a beach chair with a lemonade next to him. One goose sleeps on a towel next to a glass of lemonade. Two geese sit next to a sandcastle and a glass of lemonade. One goose lounges in an inner tube in the ocean. And migrated to Miami. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice-cold lemonade, while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. A goose in a red shirt sits in the sand at the beach. A baby turtle approaches him. A speech bubble from the turtle says, Mama? The end.